Good Sunday morning, everybody. Good Sunday morning. Welcome to Sunday with Spirit, not a political poll. This is a spiritual poll. And we are a group of like-minded individuals who come together to raise the vibrations of the planet by forming this circle and individually raising our own vibrations that lifts everybody up. So, <clears throat> today I was a little lost. Well, not today, yesterday. I'm thinking about Sunday with Spirit. What am I going to say? What am I going to do? I don't have anything planned. I don't have anything in my in my noggin to that goes, oh yeah, that's great. And so... I was thinking that I've just been so busy that I haven't given myself enough quiet time, which is hugely important. So I got some quiet time and I found myself, um, I imagined myself going into the woods and it was nighttime and I had a flashlight and I was afraid to go into the woods. And I heard, put your flashlight down. And I go, I can't, no, I'm, I need my flashlight to see. To see, you know, and I'm shining it on the trees and I'm just seeing the front of the trees. And I hear it again, so I said, okay, you know, you guys are not going to leave me alone. I'm going to put my flashlight down and walk into the woods. I put my flashlight down, turned it off. And it took a second or two, it was really quick, a lot quicker than normal, for my eyes to adjust. And as I stepped into the woods, into the forest, I could see everything. I could see animals, birds. And I walked into, um, into the forest and I'm surrounded by these these birds, owls and jaguars, and, um, and no, I wasn't smoking anything before I had this dream. I know some of you guys are thinking, what were you taking? So anyway, we go. Uh, I, I go in, we, I'm saying we because I'm with my power animals, I go in and <clears throat> there's a circle, and in this circle is a medicine man, and he's dancing around. I'm like, oh my gosh. And he beckons me to come over and I don't have, the, I go, I can't dance like that. I'm not going to mess this up. I'm not going to do that. Anyway, it goes on. Um, and towards the end of the, my, my journey that I was taking, I, we sat down, the shaman and I, we sat down and You know, I could sense him saying, you know, I'm here if you have any questions. And I thought, can I just not have any questions? Can I just sit here with you? And I was just there feeling that energy. And then I noticed it wasn't a man, but it was a woman. I go, oh, and then it was back to a man and then a woman. So it's kind of like going back and forth, which I thought was really interesting. I go, you know, what? I'm just going to sit with this for a while because I'm not trying to figure this out. I'm just going to go with it. And behind them was Anna, grandmother of Jesus. And yes, I did pull a card before I went into my my journey, my lucid dream. And in this card, it says, seeding the light, laying the foundations, the divine plan. And I thought about this. And I went, yeah, but let's just think about a grandmother. Grandmothers are so cool. 
I never met my grandmother. So I don't know, but I know how other grandmothers act and they spoil their grandkids rotten. They get them all excited and then they send them back home for the parents to deal with. <laughs> but there's such a love and a bond between a grandmother and a, and a child and a grandchild. It, there's no, um, it's not that there isn't any discipline because there is, but there's more fun, there's more joy. At least that's the way that I see it. So I thought maybe it's a good, maybe it's a good idea to see what Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, has to say about my impression of grandmothering. If Anna, the grandmother of Jesus, is our grandmother, let's just assume, what does she have to say to us? Four different areas that we can go into. I am using um, seven energies. Work your light. And the angel and ancestors oracle. Seven energies. Seen beyond. This goes to me walking into the woods with the flashlight. Putting the flashlight down, thinking that I'm not going to be able to see anything and I can see so much more than I could with my flashlight. Oh, and let me back up. Let me back up. You can pick any area, any corner. You can pick two. You can pick all. You can pick one of each card, whatever card sings to you. But a lot of times I like to just go, this is mine, you know? So whatever it is, um, clearly this is, this is singing to me because that is what I experienced going into, into the woods, into the forest today. All right, oh, and this is always coming up. No, postpone, just say no, wait. It's interesting because I was reading in um, uh, this last week, the, an article about the seven um, s successful steps to highly effective people or something like that. <clears throat> and one of the things was they say no. And it's true, if you say yes to something, then you have to say no to something else, or there's a good chance that you will. I mean, we can't do everything, so we have to have some discernment and we have to, um, if we take a trip somewhere, well, we can't, if we say we're gonna go down to Ecuador, well, we can't, go to Miami at the same time, right? So if you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. What are you saying no to? What are you saying yes to? I guess that would be the questions I'm asking. But there's always this seeing beyond. There's always this, um, this card suggests to me that maybe you need to take the steps for you in order to see beyond. You gotta be ready for it. So maybe there's a little waiting or a postponement. And then we have the high priestess harnessing mystic power. It's awesome. So it goes back to the no card. You can't just jump into it, you have to harness the power of seeing beyond, right? Harnessing mystic power. Wow, okay. All right, which one do we wanna go with next? 
Want to see that one? Okay, we'll, sh we'll show you this one. Smoke and mirrors. I don't know why did I get, you're crazy. You can't do this. You can't see that. It's gotta be a magic trick. It's gotta be smoke and mirrors. Okay. It also looks like that's a portal too that you have to walk through. And you may have to go through some smoke to get into the mirror through the looking glass. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. It's interesting, both of these cards, the second cards, are about, um, this one seems to have been, you've got to walk up the stairs, this is, there's a passage, there's an initiation. What is that initiation before we get through the portal? It's got something to do with passion, being passionate about it, and igniting that passion. And know that you do have a guardian. And see what he's holding? In his hand. It's a sphere with uh, a pyramid on it. Anna, grandmother of Jesus, right above there has a pyramid. So know that even in our right, even in our initiation, we have our grandmother protecting us. Ready? Ready for the third one? Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. It all starts with that, doesn't it? When we want to change our awareness, when we want to change the energy, it's taking a deep breath. Sometimes, you know, three good deep breaths, exhaling a little differently than we normally would, changing the vibration, ringing a bell, taking a deep breath. Looks like there's a little smoke in there too. Hmm. Hmm. Star mother. How can you mother yourself? It's pretty cool. We have the star mother and we have grandmother. We got a lot of mothering going on. And we think that, you know, oh my gosh, we're doing this all alone, that we don't have the support of, of, uh, of something. Uh, we do. I mean, my, my parents are, have passed. What would they think of this? In their lifetime, what would they think? Would they go, oh, you're crazy. You're nuts. But we have the support of our grandmother and our mother in this realm. And truly, I've been told numerous times, and I do believe it, I feel it, that my mother would be thrilled at what I'm doing right now. And she is. And she would probably say, trust your talents, spirit fox. And it's interesting, crazy like a fox? No, trust your instincts and talents. In, it says, trust your talents in changing times. Trust your talents in changing times. But this, this fox, as crazy as a fox, Trust your talents. But also when I when I imagine a fox and I see them being skittish, if you come up to us to a fox in the in the wild, they're they may not trust you right away. But as you take a deep breath 
and get calm, they understand that and they sense that feeling, they get calm. And your spirit power animal comes to you, guards you so that you can see beyond, take another step. All right. All right, Anna, what else do you have for us? She goes. <laughs> Grand Symphony. Listen to the sounds. Listen to everything that's, that's going on. Listen to the highs. Listen to the lows that resonate deep within us, that change us on a cellular level. Yikes. Yikes. And then answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? What is your soul calling you to do? You know, and that's always had, has been a big question for me. What am I supposed to do? What am, what am I doing? What is it? Listen. Listen to the music. Listen to the synchronicities that are coming your way. Pay attention to those. <laughs> the last card. As we go to seeing beyond, we have Air Guardian. Air Guardian. Shift your perception. She almost looks like she's in water. So Anna, 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 yes, Danny. You want a recap? Not a nightcap, a recap, nightcap. It's morning, it's early, it's 12 o'clock on my time, early. Um, what Anna wants to say, and I'm just gonna leave the cards as I have them set up not in their original orders, but it's seen beyond. Ignite your passion. Trust your talents in your changing times. Shift your perception. You're not going to be able to see beyond with your limited perception. And yet it's going to be a little scary. But trust. Trust your talents. and ignite your passion. What is it that you want to do? How do we want to connect with spirit? Trust it. Ignite that passion. Be excited about it. Because it could be a little scary, a little too mystical, right? Listen to the music. A little too scary? No, it's not. We just think it might be but just take it slow, take it, walk up the steps, do the initiation. It's a little dark right now, but it's okay. We have steps that we can walk up. And it may seem dark, it may seem gloom, it may seem like lightning. But don't look at the lightning, listen to the music. And then go get a big hug from your mother, your inside mother. Take a deep breath. Grandmama's hand, take a deep breath. Some of these times it's just smoke and mirrors. It's just an illusion. It's not, it's, it's what you make it to be. Step through the portal. What's this? High Priestess, harness your mystic power. Step through the portal, harness your mystic power. 
and answer the call. So whatever that call is for you, just know your grandmama, we all have like special names for grandma. <laughs> Since I didn't know a grandma, I have to go with what I would say to my grandpa <laughs> and say, okay, that must be grandma. But trust that she is there for you, giving you gifts, spoiling you, laughing with you, having fun with you, not worrying about so much the consequences, but never ever doing anything that would endanger you. So you just jump in. Have a play day with grandmother, Anna. All right, you guys. Thank you all for watching. Peace and love.